I'm sorry. I'm flaily. I'm everywhere. Right. Let's go in to play some games, shall we? Also, I'm half still trying to figure out how to sort out, you know, everything else. Now, actually, something I wanted to do. Hello. Sorry, scene. I've seen this from the trailer, so we should be fine. I want to put on my headphones, and hopefully it won't block out the audio. I hope you can hear the audio. I think you can. You should be able to. Let's go play Paper Mario Color Splash. And hopefully it's good. trailer analysis and I also should probably talk a lot more because this video is likely copyrighted to hell and back to make it louder I forgot about that <sighs> right this is the part I don't know I am not gonna do a toad voice straight away I would like to not destroy my vo voice also I apologize if this thing's gonna get in the way of the mic it might happen it's a giant freaking thing uh, guys, we're here! There you go, it's a half-assed version. So this is the famous Port Prisma. It's so peaceful and quiet. Really quiet. Ah, uh, where is everybody? Because you didn't know that before. Ah, uh, it's nice to be on dry land again. We have come to the right place, haven't we, Port Prisma? No, his name's Toad. I thought this was supposed to be a tourist destination. It seems a little quiet, don't you think? I'm not good at girl voices. Uh, yeah, weird. I even let them know we were coming. You'd think they'd prefer a warmer welcome for the Princess Peach and world famous Mario. Speaking of Mario, what's he doing? Mario, we're here. Come on out. We threw you in the trash, remember? It was great fun. Oh, that was quite a storm last night, wasn't it, you poor thing? Oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> you look like used gum wrapper! Iron yourself out, man! So this game's good so far. I am enjoying. Face cam and audio are a bit desynced, just FYI. I shall fix that now. Yes, cool. Uh, never like a little bit of quick rambling that really fixed it out for me. Right. Good. Thank you for letting me know. Sped. Now let's dive in so that everyone else can enjoy the game. Let's move. Oh, great. There we go. We're done. Cool beans. Oh, my back is already destroyed. Always a good sign. Uh, can I do that? It's kind of in the way. Oh, well. Right. Enough playing around. There's my Mario. Much better. Don't quite know what she's supposed to sound like, but alright. Alright, let me just take another look at this letter. Oh, I just can't bear to think about what I'm really holding. A folded up colourless toad. The only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. Now don't worry, princess. I read the Port Prisma guidebook cover to cover. That's all I read. Just the cover and then the other cover. We'll want to head to Prisma Fountain in the centre of town. It's a big tourist attraction. From there, maybe we'll run into some locals who can fire or help us. Uh, sounds like a plan. But I've got a bad feeling about this place. Let's proceed with caution. Cool beans. I don't even have a hammer yet, but we'll read it. I'm gonna pour Prisma. Okay, how how welcoming. I don't think there's any other moves I can do, so I'll just get on going. And I can't even... Can't go in the water. No, no robotic fish for me. White letters on a sign? That's like Bad Design 101. Who approved this layout? <laughs> nice, I appreciate that. Can I talk to Peach? It's much too quiet. Something's not right here. Okay. Prism Island, a colourful island paradise. Port Prisma, voted the world's most colourful town. Behold Prisma Fountain and its ma six magnificent colours. Even though there's like 257, at least that a computer knows, but six. Six is all we needed. Hello, Lucas and Chihiro. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Welcome to this. I don't even know if it's good yet. I legitimately cannot tell. Ah, now we're talking. Looks like there's something up on that box. Think you can jump up there and check it out, Mario? No. <laughs> there you are. I'll try and speed speed through this semi-quickly, even though I've never played it before. So Mario can only use paper-formed things? He couldn't pick up a barrel? I guess that kind of makes sense. Score! This totally makes up for me accidentally tossing your hammer overboard during the voyage, right? Mm-hmm. 
I bet it works just like your old one. Try pressing B to swing with it. Swing it. Nice. I do like a little bit, at least, the aesthetic consistencies, like how the coins are made of cardboard. That's accidental. Don't make me take that hammer away from you because I will, mister. <laughs> nice. I appreciate these kind of attention to details. Ow! Do I look like a crate to you? I, I have no idea how valuable coins are actually are in this game and whether I should make an effort to hit all these, but I shall do anyway. A lot to interact with. It's Luigi's Mansion all over again. Yes, I am going to waste my time and get these crates. Sorry. Or waste your time too. Okay, that's enough. Sorry, Crate. You gave us no choice. Let's go check out the town. It's a beautifully detailed game with a lot of cute touches with the paper cardboard aesthetic. Well then, good. It's I do appreciate its its design actually. Like the the actual quality, the the visuals is quite nice. I must admit. As for everything else, I haven't a clue yet. Also, I still got adverts on my phone that I keep locking off. So if I look weird when I'm doing things, that would be why. And also, I've got to get used to looking down to do the the webcam, which is weird. Wow, this is a real ghost town. She sounded a bit like Marge then. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain Toad? According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. So, um, yeah, this doesn't seem right. I'll take a look around and see if I can find anyone. Or someone. There's no mistake in the postmark on this poor toad. He was definitely mailed from Port Prisma. But who could have done such a thing? It's a bit rude, Peach, to just chuck him toad on the floor, but oh well. Look at that! Some kind of device just rose out of the fountain. It's kind of jazzy, isn't it, this music at the moment? Maybe you should take a closer look at it. Yeah, just just dive your face onto it. That's how we always do things around here. Emergency recovery unit. In case of emergency, activate these three switches hidden in the plaza. Blue, hit. Yellow, pull. Red, jump. As in these specific buttons, or are there buttons elsewhere? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Mario, would you mind taking a look around for the switches? Okay. Multiple switches. <laughs> Let's not get stuck on the first puzzle, yes? Oh, but I have to get closer. Are these switches then? I'm already lost. Like, red jump doesn't mean this, does it? No. Also, I just realised a giant issue that I'm going to have. And that's the fact that I'm colourblind. Okay. Like, hit, jump, pull is not an option. Maybe I'm missing something. I'll look around. Okay. Makes more sense now. <laughs> Though I am also still pretty colorblind. Does it say anything new now? No. Like, I don't see a yellow bit. Am I blind? Am I dumb? Do I look at the toad anyway? Okay, never mind. Like, you're yet- okay, yes, you are relevant. It's a bit more hidden. Gotcha. Noted. Jump on a red thing. There is something red. You are not red, you are the colour of my entire visuals. Is this red? Maybe. It's not relevant. There is a red thing in the centre. I should be jumping on something red. There's a button on its own here, but it also just looks like any other brick. There's a block. I was actually blind. It wasn't even colour blindness that time. But I guess that's kind of cool.
It's like a combination of Rogue Port and the, uh, um, whatever it's called. The Russian Winterland, both in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Huh? Is that a paint can? Yes, it is. It's Huey. Hugh? I think it's Huey. Let's see what's inside. Try opening the lid. Just rip its brains out. Mm-mm. Oh, right. You need a specialized tool to open a paint can like that. Well, the only tool we have is a bit more blunt, but maybe it's worth taking a swing. I have no idea how he speaks. <laughs> What's the title for this game going to be? Colorblind Man Plays Game All About Color? Maybe. We'll see. Um. Ow. What was that for? How would you like it if I whacked you with a hammer while you were sleeping? We're so sorry, it's just that we thought you were a paint can, so we tried to open you up. A paint can? You think I'm just a regular paint can? Alright, you don't look like you're from around here, so I'll forgive that comment. But I am so much more than a regular paint can. Anyway, now that I'm awake, you wanna grab a burger or something? Your tree. <laughs> your tree. Typical. Oh, um, we're actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from your town. Only, it's not an ordinary letter. It's a toad, drained of colour and postmarked for Port Prisma. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Princess Peach of the Mention Kingdom, And this is my friend, Mario. He jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. I also have a very bright and hard-working retainer around here somewhere. Okay. Well said. Oh, we'll said, he said. Did I say that? We'll see? No. That makes sense. I don't know. Uh, what was that? Stop! Get off me! That didn't sound... I have no idea what his voice was. I've already forgotten it. That sounded like Toad. He might be hurt or something. We're coming, Toad. The violins are picking up. Let's go. Stop it! This is... Genuinely horror music. My, my beautiful colors. Goodness, what is that thing doing to him? Mario, help me. Don't look this scene up on Google. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, Toad, what did you find? Why did you find a deck of cards? And why are we just standing and watching? What are you waiting for, Mario? Use those battle cards on those suckers! I've forgotten his voice and my voice hurts. Well, my throat is gloggly. Here he comes! Hold it! <laughs> his voice has completely changed. Do you even have any paint, Mario? What? You know, paint! That colorful stuff causing through our bodies, no? Thought that was blood. Well, I mean, I guess it is one paint color. What are we gonna do? There's no paint around here! Uh, there's no other choice. Mario's gonna have to ring me out. Don't look this scene up on Google either. Just press A to give me a squeeze. Don't be shy now. Mario's really come a long way. He's a very progressive character over the years. He got ringed out so much he became paper, huh? Is that how that works? Oh, I'm so light and airy. Is this what you paper folk feel like all the time? Alright, enough flapping in the wind. The paint you just absorbed is basically my blood. Use that paint to power up those power cards your friend just gave you. Then use the battle cards to plaster those introverted assassin. Wait, so we're just gonna go ahead and attack you now. I mean, if that's cool. No, that's definitely not cool. And since when were there three of you there? Whatever. We've got cards, we've got paints. You know what to do, Mario. We're going to art class. You have no idea what to do, do you? 
No worries, Uncle Huey is here to give you a primer. Oh, my voice actually fits for him if he's Uncle Huey. Oh yes, but I have to look down here, so this is gonna be really disorientating for people. So here are all the cards you've got from Toad. They're called battle cards for obvious reasons. <laughs> I like that. Each one of you lets, uh, lets you perform an action in battle. Pictures on these cards should give you a general idea. For example, look at this one. It has two boots on it. Who needs to, who needs to see it? The description does it all. That means this card allows you to use a jump attack two times. Uh, I would just skip this for everyone. The big old boot lets you do a super powerful jump attack. The bigger, the stronger. Yeah, gotcha. Cool. Big one, please. Don't worry, everyone's bad at first. Of course. Go ahead, give it a try. I... Next you add paint, just touch the card with the bigger the paint. The more you paint, the stronger it will be. Well, it's a big one, so I'll use all power, sure. That took no time to fill up, okay. I thought it was gonna be a slow process. Done. And flick as well, all right. I can see, I can see the text telling me to do it. You don't need to also tell me. Is there any action commands? Right, here's a bit, yes, okay. Press A at the critical point, thank goodness. You can also tap instead. Oh, okay, that's cool. I suck. Okay, noted. Right, now you might not like this part as much. They're gonna attack you. If you don't just sit or take Mario, you can defend yourself. The law. Press A right before an enemy attacks you to block some of the damage. Ouch. Yes. Wow, that's five presses minimum to use an attack? That's... Not as fun. No, I do remember also thinking, when I was watching the trailers, that there's no real purpose to a battle. What you win is not worth it, and you could skip through, because there's no EXP, that's it. There's no experience, you just get more paint, and you're using the paint to use the card, so why not get in a battle? So I might see if I can, uh, if I can do that. Also, you're right there, Sped. You're having flashbacks from art class. And you muted the stream. Good job. Gotta be impressed. You're a natural, kid. Oh, poor Toad. Everyone, a moment of silence, please. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. I've been meaning to reshuffle a lot of my Patreon to be the best for you guys, so if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see, do please let me know. As for now, Thank you to The Shepherd246, Dylan Brill, Red5 Rainbow, Dazzle Kitty, and Melka Velasco for the support. We're only a small band of people now, but your support has helped so much. And if anyone else is willing to help, then please click on the on screen link now. Anything will help. Thank you so much.